Hey everyone, I'm Lorenzo and welcome to volume 2 of Java games that have the word Crash in their title. Crash and Burn Turbo is an extremely wacky racing game. The controls are good and bad at the same time, it depends on you if you like them or not. What is nice about the game is that it has 16 tracks and that you can customize your cars. Not visually, but performance wise. You can install weapons on them so that during races you can shoot at your competition. But as simplistic as the game looks, I'm impressed by the level designs. Car Crash Racing 2 seems to be the remastered version of the first game. I say that because it has the exact same content as the first game, only that this game looks better. I don't know if it's a superior version to the first game and someone just slapped the number 2 on the cover, but hey, if you want an even better looking experience than the first car crash racing game, try this one. Crash Rally is an extremely wacky racing game with controls that turn bad as soon as your opponent hits you. The controls are fine when you just drive, even drifting feels nice, but as soon as there's collision the game is annoying. You get stuck in the scenery, if you don't rush in front of your opponents and they manage to hit you, you're done for that race. But the good part is that at least there are three different locales. Tracks are plenty and all tracks take place in the same three locales. You get four different cars to race in, you can even upgrade the cars and aside of races you get battle arenas. The game, even if it doesn't look like it, it's solid. Car Drive Race is a really low budget game that promises more than it offers. From the menu, you would understand that you get three game modes, Crash, Drive and Race, but no matter which option you choose, you get the same gameplay. You can't change your car, nor upgrade it, what you see in the video is all you do. You can only beat your own score in the game. That's it. Crash Panda is unique and pretty good too. You play as a panda that wants to learn Kung Fu to take revenge of all the people that laugh at him. So you go on a side-scrolling rampage in 7 different locations. Each location has multiple levels, the controls are nice, the action is also nice, the enemy variety is nice too, and even if the game doesn't seem interesting to you, it's still worth trying it out as it's not stereotypical, you haven't played such a Java game before. In Crash and Test, you have to collect all Crash letters from the map. Even if you get 5 maps, I'm not content with them. They feel restrictive. You will encounter the character saying restricted countless of times. The controls are wacky, they aren't good nor terrible, they are just wacky. And you get 4 cars in the game. There is no story to tie things together, it's just the gameplay. The game is good in my opinion only for some 10 minutes of fun because playing more of this game may lead to boredom. 